I want to go ahead and show you guys this article. It comes from politifact.com. And this is about a border fence in Israel. And let me go ahead. I'm being a bad host. I need to show this. A border fence in Israel that cut illegal immigration by 99%. Woo! That is, woo! 99! And the GOP senator says. Now, uh, if it can work in their country where there's terrorists galore, you know what I'm saying? People are being born a terrorist. Can it work for us, Barry? I can tell you uh, that I, I've seen the fence that that senator is talking about, and I've seen, I don't know, several hundred miles of the border barrier that surrounds Israel in different places. I've been on the northern border um, and the Golan Heights. I've been on the um, eastern border that separates the uh, Jordan Valley territories uh, from Israel proper. I've been on the southern border at Gaza. I can tell you they're all different kinds of fence. Uh, some are, are chain link and barbed wire with sensors and I videotaped that and put it on the air. Some are slatted fence. Some are very steep concrete slabs. Uh, some are concrete walls with uh, big ditches for tank traps next to it. They build different barriers depending what the threat is. But Israel builds those barriers for two reasons, Jermaine. One, to knock down the numbers of illegal immigrants. That one uh, barrier area in the south uh, by the Sinai that the senator was talking about was getting 55,000 a year coming in through that border area. And they just couldn't put enough men um, because the men would have had to bend every 100 yards uh, and there's just not enough border police down there. So they built a wall. The next year and the next year and the next year it dropped till now it's down by, get this, as you said, 90 nine percent now you'd have to be a stone cold liar to see those statistics to go to that fence and say border fences don't work why because the statistics are there and by the way when you get done building this thing over 10 years it costs a fraction a small fraction of what it costs to defend the border with just people not to mention the ancillary damage to your society by murderers and rapists and drug dealers and gangsters and so on coming in. Now on top of that, Israel has a terror problem. So do we, but ours is much smaller. Suicide bombings coming in from the West Bank are down by 90 to 95 percent since that wall was built. It's about 10 meters, which is 33 feet high, I dare somebody to try and put a ladder and get over that. And then the wall has sensors on it, and it has guard posts every certain uh, quarter mile, I believe, if my memory's correct. So there's guys in those turrets that can see with binoculars in both directions. Jermaine, you want to guess how many people have crossed with fences, across that border fence, I should say, with a ladder in the last <laughs> 10 years? You want to guess? It's zero. zero. <laughs> it's zero. And when you talk to the people in Israel, in the government, now you think we have a political mess. They have 15 political parties and the parties come and go like crazy. There's a new election coming up in April for a prime minister in the control of the Knesset, which is their legislature in April. And three new parties have been formed in the last week. So <laughs> our political system is like concrete and stable compared to theirs. And everybody's in favor of barriers because everybody knows that the security of their people is their prime job. And the truth is, Jermaine, the purpose of a national government in the United States, going all the way back to 1776, its primary purpose is the defense of its citizenry. That's the job of the federal government, yeah. to provide safety domestic tranquility for its citizenry. And if you don't have a protected border and there's a threat at the border, then you're not doing your job. In Israel, it works. Look at the fence, look at the barrier, look at the concrete wall. It's all different in different places. And there's not a place where it hasn't worked. Now, 
granted. In some places, they tunnel under it. So Israel pounds sensors down into the ground and finds the tunnels. But to say you don't build a fence because someone might burrow under it is like saying, well, don't lock your door because someone could break a window. Or why lock up the money in the bank? A robber could just come in. Well, yeah, but you're trying to discourage the 99%. Yep. And if you can do that, your problem drops by 99%. I, I would very much love if all 535 members of the Congress, House and Senate, especially the new ones that talk like such idiots, would get on a plane, a couple of jumbo jets, maybe one for the Dems and one for the Republicans, go to Israel, see the barrier, and come back, and then I dare them to face the press and say, walls don't work, slatted steel doesn't work, fences don't work, open the border and just put people there. That'd be a tough one, really tough.